wrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. What's your mind wrapped in? All right, what's going on, YouTube? To see if you're from Click, and if you couldn't tell, this is part two of the. Uh, how to set up your Android phone video. Um, so basically in part one, all, I went through root information because uh, I, I, at the end of the day I had to wipe my phone and install a new ROM. So I showed you how to install a new ROM, um, gave you the process on that, showed you guys how to get to the startup screen on Android and I showed you guys how to install your apps and set up your home screen. Obviously I didn't show you how to set up your home screen, it's very simple. You go to your app drawer, see an app you want, drag it down to your home screen and you're done. Um, so those are the basics on how to get kind of your Android phone running for, for your daily usage. Now next thing I'm going to show you guys, and I know this is kind of like, a, you know, Android's infamous for having all kinds of settings and stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do through, do here is I'll bump the brightness down first off so you guys can see the screen. Might be useful. There we go. So if you can get that into focus. Alright, so we're good to go on that. So I'm going to go through all the settings on the phone or basically all the important ones that you would need to know about. So first up here, we have Wi-Fi. Now, pretty straightforward, you have your connections to your Wi-Fi network. So I have here, I'm connected to home, and there's all kinds of different Wi-Fi networks here. So if I'm out somewhere and I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, uh, I just come into my settings app. We'll uh, bump the exposure just a bit. There it goes. That's a little bit better. So I'll go into my settings app, go into the Wi-Fi settings. Let's say I want to connect to home 5G, which is also my network. I'll, uh, I won't input the password. That'll just waste some more time. So I'll just type in a password, click connect, and... I'll be good to go. It'll connect up, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to know, I mean, there's also again with Android, there's all kinds of different menus and stuff. A lot of the stuff is just irrelevant for your daily user. Uh, so we have your advanced Wi-Fi. I turn this notif. This is the only thing I do in advanced Wi-Fi is turn off network notifications because every time you have a an open network, it'll buzz and it'll you know I might think is a text or something, and it's actually just my phone telling me there's an open network nearby, which is you know I don't need to know about that. So that's the Wi-Fi settings. Bluetooth settings very straightforward. If you want to connect to a Bluetooth device, you turn your Bluetooth on. Bluetooth to turn on and then you'll find your devices here. I don't think I have anything on and connected. Okay, so there's a Blackberry. My brother's Blackberry in, in, in the other room is on Bluetooth. Um, so that's there. And if I want to connect to it, I just click here. It'll pair up. His phone will get a notification. Mine will get one here. I'll just click cancel. And that's that. So that's that. Uh, I'll turn Bluetooth off here. I don't need it. Um, and that's pretty much it for Bluetooth. That's the basics. You don't really need to know much more about the Bluetooth connection. Data usage, pretty straightforward. It just tells you how many megabytes or gigabytes your phone's been using. So this has been my usage so far on the Wi-Fi when I was on a clean install. So I've used 423 megabytes. And I can set my network restrictions here. And uh, what is it here? Meter networks are treated like cellular networks and background data is restricted. Apps may warn before using these networks for large downloads. So I'll turn that off. I don't need to notify myself of large downloads on my Wi-Fi network. Um, and if I have my, if I had my SIM card in here, I'd be able to choose between Wi-Fi usage and, and my mobile usage. Very straightforward. Under more, you have airplane mode, NFC, all that stuff. Personally, I don't use this. So I'm not going to go too much into it. NFC is there if you need to transfer stuff between phones. And that's pretty much it. Home is your home screen. So if you want to go to Google Now, if I want to use Nova Launcher, I just click Nova Launcher and there's my home screen is Nova Launcher now. So pretty straightforward as well. If I want to delete Nova Launcher, I click that, uninstall the app, don't want to do that. And uh, you have help and feedback here if you do get lost using this very simple menu here. Uh, next up we have display. So this is where you'll find all your display settings. So your brightness, adaptive brightness, basically auto brightness. You can change your wallpaper. Uh, you can choose when your phone sleeps. So I usually set mine to two minutes. So if my phone's just sitting here, the screen's not going to turn off until two minutes of inactivity. Uh, Daydream, I just turn off. I don't have a dock, so I don't need to worry about that. Font size, depends on you. If you want huge, then you can go huge. I usually have small and uh, to simulate like a, a low DPI when I'm in my settings. And let's see here, when device is rotated. So basically that's saying your rotation lock, which you can find in your quick toggles here on the uh, notification center. So I don't really dive too much into these settings here on a daily basis all my display my main display setting here so my brightness and uh, my auto rotates right there that's pretty much that clear all these notifications geez so I'll go back now I'm gonna show you guys how to set custom sounds and notifications a lot of people don't know how to do that uh, especially on iPhones and I will have a video in the near future on how to set custom ringtones for your iPhone um, 
So we got here your media controls. Again, I don't really come into here because the media controls are accessible by your volume buttons here. And then you have your other media controls and stuff here. So not a big deal. Boom sound, if you have an HTC, it's there. Uh, I always have vibrate for calls on because when I have a call, I don't want to miss it, obviously, um, by not hearing the ringtones, so I'll have vibrate on. Do not disturb, very straightforward, you know, same thing as the iPhone, do not disturb. You don't want to be bugged by notifications. You turn it on and you're good to go. Again, you can find it here in your notification drop down. Um, so you can set it for one hour for alarms only or whatever, total silence, priority only, all that good stuff. Uh, so generally, you know, if you're in a meeting or something for an hour, you can turn it off for one hour and then after the hour to automatically go back to normal mode. Um, let's see. So setting a custom ringtone, in all honesty, it's not hard to do. Um, so, okay. So you know what? <laughs> We're a little bit of jumping around here. I'm going to go to Zedge. So download Zedge if you guys want custom ringtones, wallpapers, all that stuff for your phone, uh, your Android phone, or your iPhone. Download Zedge because this app has all kinds of different ringtones, all, all, you know, all the good stuff is there. So we'll swipe over here, find ourselves a ringtone, and uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to download something with copyrighted music. So... Okay, so Zedge decided to crash on me, so that's nice. <laughs> we'll go back into it here, and we'll download a ringtone. Um, and we'll see here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Screw Zedge. You can set custom ringtones from your music app while the phone is so slow. I don't understand what the problem is here. So, listen now. This is turning out to be a longer video than I anticipated, but it's all good. My library. Okay, so I have my songs here. So if I want to set this song as my ringtone, uh, okay, I guess you can't do it in the Google Play Music app, which is very annoying. Let's see if I can do it in my phone app here. So we'll go into Media Storage, click Always. Okay, so we can't do that. Okay, so we're going to have to go to Zedge anyways. Pina Colada. Alright, so I want You Can't Touch This as my ringtone in Zedge. You click Download. You allow it to download and then you're done. Um, you should be able to see your Z ringtone under here now. Uh, and as you can see here, you can't touch this right there. So I just click it and that will be my ringtone when someone calls me. So if someone calls me, then uh, that will be that. If you want to choose between any other the, the ringtones here, it's very, very easy to do. And that's what I like about Android. These things are very simple to do on I iPhones. It's not as easy just to go and set a custom ringtone. and. Uh, and whatnot. So the same thing applies for notification sounds. If you want to change it, you can go into Zedge and download a custom one. I believe I just used the Hangouts message notification. So that's my notification when I get text messages. And uh, that's that. Other sounds, you can go in here so you can see there's dial pad, screen locking, charging sounds, touch sounds, vibration on touch, all that stuff. I leave it all on. You know, it's not a big deal if it's on. Notification light. So if you get notifications, if your phone supports it, you have an LED here if you can turn it on and off. And uh, that, I mean, for me, that's all I do. I don't go into any other of the apps or settings on sound and notification. Apps, I've never been into. I mean, I don't go into there. Storage and USB, I mean, you can go in here, check your free storage. It's very straightforward. Don't really need to show you guys much. Um, just a tip, uh, if you guys are finding your phone is running a little bit slow, uh, go into cache data and clear the cache for all of your apps. Uh, that might help. I don't know. I uh, can't guarantee it'll help, but I found sometimes when my slow is a little bit, my phone, my slow is a little bit phone. My phone is a little bit slow. I just go and try to clear the cache data, and it speeds it up just a tad. Battery, straightforward. Tells you your battery usage. Uh, memory, again, <laughs> same thing. Tells you your memory, your RAM usage here. Again, users. I again, I don't go into here, but you can select users if you want to. Tap and pay. Does I don't use motion launch for HGCs. Again, very straightforward. It's not that hard to use uh, an Android phone once you get used to it. So you got HTC Weather. Won't go into that. That's just for HTC. So you have all your different things here. So the only one here that I use really is uh, security. So I can set up either a pattern. So if I want to set a pattern up as my pin or whatever, I can do that. Or if I want to set up a password for my phone, I can you know type it in here. Continue. Type it in again. Lock screen messages, I can type in here. So usually I just have M8N for M8 and then N for my initial. And that's my lock screen message. Otherwise, again, don't do much in the security settings here. And the other one that I do use is adding accounts. Uh, so if I need to add a Gmail account or a Google account or you know Facebook, I can do that here. Enter in my credentials and stuff, and I'm good to go there. 
So we'll go back and that's pretty much that for, I guess for a normal person's usage. Sometimes, okay, so I'll show you guys how to unlock developer options in your phone. Um, so what you do is you scroll down to the bottom of your settings app, you go into about phone, you scroll down and you find the build number. Now you're going to tap this as many times as you need to until you see now you are a, de a developer. Go back and your developer options are here. Now I don't, I do not recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing in the dev, in the dev options because it's very easy to turn something on or turn something off and you screw your phone up. Like you know, uh, let's see if I can find the thing here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so show touches. So if you guys turn it on, I don't know if you can see the little. Uh, there's like a little halo thing or bubble thing that's following my finger around pointer location. If you turn this on and accidentally forget, oh crap, I, I don't know how to turn it off now. Um, so it's just the small things like that. If you don't know what you're really doing on the Android, don't turn them on or don't go into, into the dev options. Um, but if you want to, I would recommend doing it because you can turn your animation scales off or down here. So basically all this does is make your phone feel a little bit faster than it actually is. That's all I do in the dev options. On, uh, on my HTC anyway, I do have to turn my USB configuration to MTP so I can transfer and charge files, uh, t transfer my phone and tra uh, transfer my files and charge my phone. I can't speak English right now, geez. Um, so guys, that's pretty much it for the standard Android setup. Uh, that's basically all I do for my settings. And now all I need to do is drag and drop my icons on my home screen and uh, that, uh, my phone's good to go. I can change my wallpapers here by holding down the home screen and click wallpapers and then you can select the wallpaper here. Um, yeah, so that's basically been the uh, the how to set up your Android phone video or I guess mini series or whatever you want to call it. Uh, guys, very simple. Android's n really like Android has a very bad rep for being old, very confusing and iPhone is just much simpler to use and all that stuff. It's not 2004 anymore. Android is very easy to use. It's very straightforward. It's very intuitive. And uh, the user experience is fantastic, honestly. I, I, I'm torn between iOS and Android, uh, especially with that iOS 10 update. But I gotta say, Android has always been very good. Uh, and, and it's not hard to use, especially once you start kind of screwing around with your settings. As long as you know how to turn, like if I go into my settings and, you know, turn something on here. Uh, as long as I know how to turn it back off, if it screws my phone up or if I don't like it, then I'm good to go. Basically, uh, recommendation is go through all the settings here, even the ones that I didn't talk about, so apps, and just look at it. Go to the help and feedback here and uh, see if you can find anything, troubleshooting, blah, 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 blah. If you have any questions, look through here. Go through all of the apps. Take the time to go through it because this will help you learn the Android OS that much quicker than uh, than just, you know, not knowing how to use it and, and not using your phone to its full potential. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this kind of video here. <laughs> Again, it's come up to 12 minutes, 13 minutes now. If I combine part one and part two together, it'd be like a half hour video, which no one's going to watch. But um, I don't know. I figured because I had this video request from uh, from one of our viewers privately. And uh, he said, he's like, dude, I, when I got my Android phone, it was just brutal. I didn't know how to set it up. Had to have someone else come over, set the phone up with me and give me this whole tutorial thing. Um, so I figured, you know what? That would be great for, for a lot of people who don't know how to use their Android phones. There's a lot of people who don't know how to use it. And, and this I figured this would be a very basic tutorial on how to use your Android phones and unlock the full power the full power of your phones. Obviously, you can't do that uh, without root, <laughs> which is a completely other topic. And I won't get into that today. So, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new today, if you figured out how to set up your Android phone, drop a like on the video. Uh, much appreciated. If you like the content on our channel, feel free to drop a subscription. If you have any questions about Android and how to use it, how to set it up, if I missed anything, definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what I missed. Let me know what you're confused on, and I will help you out as soon as I can and uh, as most as I can. And uh, if you know anyone who doesn't know how to use their Android, or if you have a, you know like an aunt or an uncle or someone who keeps bothering you at home, hey, hey, how do I do this or how do I download this app or whatever, show them this video. Hopefully it'll help them out. Show them part one of the video. Hopefully that'll help them out as well. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. And uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.